I'm just really overwhelmed with how beautiful Paris is right now. All right, I'm in Paris today. I've got about an hour before I'm meeting a friend I made off of couch surfing, and she's a photographer and we're gonna go explore a bit. So before then, I'm gonna find some food to eat and check out the neighborhood I'm staying in. And of course, it's kind of raining, or just like misting. It's not raining, raining, because I'm not afraid to have my camera out, but it's wet. I think this is pretty normal weather, from what I gather. Paris is super expensive, so when you're traveling, especially in expensive cities like this one, a really easy way to save money is just go to the grocery store, buy some snacks. It's like living in the city where you're from. You don't go out to eat every day. If you did, you'd spend a lot of money. So, I'm just gonna run to the grocery store and grab some food. I definitely want to eat out and enjoy like the dining of France, but I'll probably only do that a couple times while I'm here, because if I did it for every meal, this trip would not last very long. On point. Well, for some reason I wasn't allowed to buy the carrots, so I don't think I did it right. But I got some other things. I need to go find somewhere to eat them, though. That's the downside about buying from a grocery store. There's no table. My friend Iman, I met her on couch surfing and she's not a creepy person. There was one guy that was talking to me that was kind of creepy. Okay, on couch surfing? surfing. Yeah. And I was like, uh... she's not really scary. And she's showing me around Paris. And this is like a really cool part of town, she's saying. And there's parks with different themes. And this one is Japanese themed. It's part of like uh, an area called La Villette, it's in the north of Paris. And that's just happened to be where I found my hostel. We're on top of the Philharmonic. It's this beautiful building right here. And there's just a gorgeous view of the whole city. And I'm just really overwhelmed with how beautiful Paris is right now. One more time, how do you say it in French? Philharmonie. Man, I need to work on my French. Local <laughs> Parisians are not going to like me at all. It's good to meet you, thank you so much. Yeah. That was seriously one of the coolest things I've done. I just got to walk around the city for like two hours and learn from a new friend about her perspective on Paris and she's from Morocco and so I got to talk to her about Morocco and all the places that she's traveled to and it's a pretty cool day. Overall, my first impressions of Paris are it's a beautiful city. I can't wait to explore it more. I'm so lucky I got to hang out with Iman today and just have her show me around this neighborhood. It's a really cool part of town. The thing I didn't get to show you today is how many people have really not liked me having a camera. And whether I'm filming buildings or signs, people have been really suspicious of me because I have a camera and I think they think it looks more professional because there's a big microphone on it. I don't know, it's, it's interesting. I haven't had that kind of response from people in a city before. Maybe they have a bad experience with people that walk around with cameras, or 
or just naturally suspicious. I'm not sure, but I think I just need to be a little more extra careful and respectful, especially when I'm going into places and wanting to learn from folks. Uh, I'm probably going to need to go in and not have my camera up and rolling uh, when I'm walking in. I'm going to have to go in and listen and learn and then ask permission from people before I can even take my camera out. All the fun cultural things that I'm learning as I'm going. Alright, I'm going to head back to the hostel and warm up because it is freaking cold out here. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you really soon. <laughs>